Today I want to answer one of your questions about how do you get the ball rolling with views in the first place. If you are brand new to YouTube, you have a brand new channel with zero subscribers, how do you just get started with gaining exposure? That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Thursday, which means it's time for some YouTube Q&A with you guys. Crieza wrote and asked this. How do you get the ball rolling of views in the first place? I found that if you are new and upload a video, even if someone types in the exact video title, it still doesn't come up in the search. People more popular with a similar title show up instead. So how do you get people to see your video in the first place? Great question. This is actually something we talk about a lot here at Video Creator, so I will link up to a bunch of those different videos in the description text below this video. So you can go check those out and see some of the other things that we've already discussed that kind of answer this question But I wanted to give someone else an opportunity to answer this question So I tapped the shoulder of Daryl Eves who is also certified by YouTube in audience growth He's worked with a lot of great channels on YouTube and has helped channels like the piano guys get the hundreds of millions of views And even on his own channel, which I will link up below you can click right here to go check it out He does something similar to video creators, but he kind of talks about audience growth a little bit broader than YouTube I mean he has a lot of great YouTube content, but he also talks about like Facebook and Google Plus and things like that. So go check out his channel. But in the meantime, here's Daryl to answer your question. Now really, this is a great question. And I know a lot of content creators on YouTube feel this same frustration. You put all this time and effort in producing awesome videos and it's really nowhere to be found in the search results. And it's not getting any views or interaction. And this can really be devastating and really discouraging. Now in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you my basic game plan for succeeding on YouTube. It's really simple. And this simple plan will really help you get the ball rolling on views and getting more people interested in your content and ultimately subscribing to your channel. But first, we truly need to know why people actually watch YouTube in the first place. And I personally believe it's for three basic reasons. Number one, someone they know recommends a video. Number two, Viewers seek out to be entertained. It might be a music video, a funny cat video, or something else. Number three is the viewer searching out information on a certain subject or to be educated, like how to play a bass guitar. Now let's break it down for the basic game plan to really succeed on YouTube. So here's the breakdown. Step one, do research. Now don't just slap up videos to your channel. Take some needed time and do some research. Ask these questions. What is your channel really about? Who is your target audience? Where is your target audience actually congregating outside of YouTube? Why would your target audience be interested in your video content and also your channel? And how can you get the viewer or potential viewer to subscribe and share the video? Now, step two, recon. Find out what blogs, forums, Facebook groups, Google Plus communities, websites, people that are really interested in your content. Now, recon is really, really important. Over 75% of my video views come from outside of YouTube. Now think about that for a moment. It's really important to do recon. Step three, video structure and production. Now make sure you have a production formula for your videos. Shh. Now I'm gonna share with you Tim's secret formula for his video structure for his channel. Now don't tell him I told you. Tim's formula is really like this. Make sure you hook the viewer in the first three to seven seconds of the video. Then you wanna show a bumper. Now this is optional, but it's really effective for branding. Then next, you're actually gonna have your main content displayed and then engage the users and have a great outro and call to action. Now, wait a minute. Now this is the same formula that I use for my channel. Hmm. <laughs> I think I just gave away my secret formula, my secret sauce, dang it. Oh well. Now a special note, this is really important for all of you to know. Different types of channels and target audiences will have different types of video structure, okay? And different formulas. So do some research and see what formula works for your channel. Now step number four, upload that video and optimize. You're gonna go ahead and upload that video, but make sure you do it to private. Then you wanna take time to optimize your title, your description, your tags, transcribe the video, and also do a custom thumbnail that really engages and catches people's eye. Once this is done, you can go ahead and set it to public. Step five, share that video. Now we got Facebook, we got Pinterest, we got Twitter, we got Google Plus, we got Facebook groups, Google Plus communities. 
you really have that recon list, all you need to do is get involved in those communities and share your video. Share it with them, but do it better. Don't spam them. The world has enough spammers. Make good quality posts and embed your video or put a little video link. Now the next step is an important one, so you really need to understand this one. Step six, engage and interact. Now take time to comment on your video. Also comment on the video in all the places where your video is being shared. This is really important. Why? This gets viewers engaged and it actually creates a community of your own. Now step seven, evaluate and adjust. Now make sure you look at your video's analytics and really evaluate how users are actually finding you, what type of engagement's there, and really track all the necessary things that you need to so you can make adjustments for the future. Now step eight, look for collaboration opportunities. Now wait a minute, this video is a collaboration video. Huh, I guess Tim and I practice what we preach, right? Well, it works. Now honestly, most of you that create content on YouTube would benefit by taking a little bit more time to get to know your audience, creating a simple game plan for your channel and also for all your videos. I have a game plan for my channel and really have set a video structure and a schedule for all my videos and it works really well for me. And I can tell you, working with Tim the last few days and also being one of his first subscribers for Video Creators TV, Tim knows his audience and has a clear plan. So if you're really looking for more views and visibility for your videos, make sure you watch this video a few times, take some notes, and create your own game plan. Thanks, Daryl. That was awesome. I want to add in a couple thoughts of my own that I hope will answer your question uh, concerning how the search results work and why you can type in your exact title and not have it show up and have all the popular videos show up instead. And that is because YouTube ranks, like they determine how high in the search results your video will rank based on how much watch time it has. And watch time is simply just how much time that video has accumulated from people who are watching it. So if you watch this video for three minutes, this video has accumulated three minutes of watch time. So there's a couple ways to increase watch time. Again, like we've talked about some of that stuff here, links below to those videos. You want to go check it out. But ultimately what you are seeing at work is that YouTube definitely values watch time higher than they actually value like how perfectly optimized your metadata is and how perfectly your metadata, which is titles, tags, and descriptions and caption files, some include that, you know, thumbnails, how perfectly that relates to the search query. Like that is a strong correlation, but it's even stronger. It's how much watch time the video has accumulated, which is how Google determines how valuable this video is. And the longer people spend watching this video, the more valuable Google thinks that this video is. So very practically for you, that means it's important to drive as much watch time to that video as possible within the first week of it being published. And that goes back to following all the best practices that Daryl just talked about and others that are linked up below. So go check all that stuff out. You guys got some research to do if this is something that's interesting to you. I would love to hear from you guys about what tips, ideas, advice would you have for Creza or for anyone else who might be in a similar situation, comment and leave those down below. And also, while you're down there, check out Daryl's channel. The link is in the description text. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will find his videos equally as valuable as these, so go check that out. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Welcome. Every week we do Q&A just like this to help you guys out on Tuesdays. We take a look at online video news and talk about the implications it has for us as creators as YouTube is constantly updating and changing. And then on Wednesdays to give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, advice, suggestions, and Thursdays we do basically what you just saw right here. And I do all of this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that can really change lives and influence people if those people could just find and hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of you guys who are building your audiences and your channels for the purpose of changing lives. Subscribe if this is your first time here and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.